Okay, testing. I'm hoping the game pops up here in a second or two. Okay, perfect. We need to get more sound. This is too quiet. Okay. There's like no sounds. Okay. Let's see that. Hey guys, I'm back and I'm taking a look at Pathfinder Kingmaker by Owlcat Games. This is uh, a real-time with pause RPG in the style of Icewind Dale, Baldur's Gate, Pillars of Eternity, that sort of thing. Um, this is going to be probably the closest thing to a true Dungeons & Dragons RPG we've had since... God, I want to say Temple of Elemental Evil, maybe? That was turn-based, but uh, one of the Neverwinter Nights games... Well, wait, there was that one... There was a game that just came out, Sword Coast. Tales from the Sword Coast, um, which is a real-time with pause as well. Um, so, I guess we've had a couple D&D games, but this is probably the closest D&D game we've had to the to the rule set in a long time. And it's not even really D&D, it's Pathfinder, which is 3rd uh, edition Dungeons & Dragons, was open source for a while... I'm, I'm a little fuzzy in the details. It's been a long time since I, since I thought about this stuff. Um, and Pathfinder came out of that. And Pathfinder is just kind of like a D&D setting um, with its own core rule books. And I've always thought Pathfinder was a very interesting setting. In fact, one of my favorite games I played last year was Pathfinder the Card Game, which I recommend. Um, so, I just got the alpha... It just got updated a few days ago, I think, fixing a few long-term bugs people have been talking about. So I thought, let's, let us let me just record my first look at it uh, so you can all see it with me for the first time. Um, I've only seen the options menu so far, just to pop around with graphics and get into a 1080 window for the recording. Um, and then the sound. The music sounds great. Uh, I'll, I'll just try and keep it down a little bit so that it's not... Um, overriding me talking. There's controls. Um, let's, one thing I think is neat is how uh, the, the option menu pops up. <laughs> so here we got the simplified rules, ad adapted rules, and the core rules. Um, full damage from enemies and traps. Enemies will be fighting at full power, and you'll have the usual chances of inflicting critical hits. That's important because um, the way D&D like, works, uh, an enemy can roll a 20 just like a player, but there's a lot more enemies rolling dice than there are players. So the math behind that is actually kind of against the players. But this is maybe the way to play, at least just for testing purposes. The adapted rules. Um, damage you take from enemies and traps is reduced. Enemies can't critically hit you. Uh, that's not really in the... I, I think that's a great idea for people who, especially those, those folks, well, in some cases like myself, that aren't really fully into the real time with pause. I'm okay with real time with pause. I like it better than some. It does have a lot of highs, I feel, when your strategy hits the way you expect it to and you kind of pull off a great moment. That's that's a higher high than a turn based game can give you. But it's got lower lows where things explode and you don't know what's going on and then you're just dead. So I can kind of see the argument either way, but since we're playing this for fun. And to see it, let's just take the core rules. What are the advanced rules? Um, enemies will have advanced characteristics and will have the usual chance of inflicting critical hits. Wait. Fighting at full power. Advanced characteristics. Game is over. If your companion dies, you're going to resurrect them with raised dead. And extremely service. Unavailable to the majority of... This is an extra comma there. I was trying to figure out what was different between the last sentence. You know what? Let's try the advanced rules then. If the enemies have advanced characteristics, I would like to see what that is. Uh, so, all right. Let's see. Force move. Show alignment shifts. Reset commands and auto pause. I don't know what that means. Uh, show avoid on combat text. Let's turn this on for now. We always come back in here and play this stuff on. Limited AI. 
Why would you want to limit the AI? And we'll leave it alone for now, I guess. Um, okay, so that that done, let's go to the new game and make a character. Um, all right, looks like there's three character portraits to pick from. Presumably there'll be more in the full game. This is just the alpha. The beta isn't even starting yet. Oh, I think the beta will start soon. It's supposed to be quarter one, so I guess in the next few months it'll be a beta. And then the release is supposed to be, I think, like quarter two, late quarter two, early quarter three. So we're not not that far off, really, from this um, dropping on us. Um, I want to play as a mage. I like mages. I kind of like the way I'll, these are, I like the art here. This is, this is great. Um, okay, well, let's just kind of make a character, I guess, and see what happens. I don't think all the character classes are implemented yet, uh, so this shouldn't take too long to, to go through either. Uh, let's see, use control to unsnap your AoE spells from the target. Oh, okay. Um, Alright, and of course, being the alpha, we have a lot of placeholder stuff here. But uh, this is basically saying at level 1, you start with 1 feet. Level 3, you get a feet. Level 5, 7, that's very very much like the 3rd edition D&D. Or 3.5 edition, perhaps. Uh, we're on the class. We're going to pick a class. There are uh, quite a few to pick from. You know what? They must have added some since the last time I watched a video, so I'm playing this. Um, so if you click on a character class, you're going to see that uh, level 1, you get a specialist school. Um, and then oh, there's two opposing schools you have to pick. It looks like you get a wizard bonus feat to pick. You get a favorite class bonus. Uh, hit point Bonus hit points cantrips, and provisions. So every class has different things. And of course, like I said, some of these do actually have um, the icons built in and ready to go. So we're going to start with a wizard. I like uh, playing as a wizard. It's just fun. A lot of cool abilities to pick from. So let's just see how that goes. Oh, alchemist is interesting. I don't know if I'm familiar with alchemists or inquisitors. Uh, Magus, I think I'm a little... I think I read a little bit about that. Divine weapon bond. Man. Um, I'm assuming at some point they'll have some sort of like sort of description somewhere in this interface. Uh, so for now, let's just make a wizard, and we're gonna see here about what we want for our specialist school. We pick conjuration. We get summoner's charm. Whenever you cast a conjuration spell, increase the duration. My number is equal to half your level. Oh, okay. Acid dart. As a standard action, you can unleash an acid dart. Dimensional steps. Oh, you get some a lot of cool stuff. Wow. Pardon me, I'm drinking a beverage while I play. Evoker's Rebel and Raw Power. When you cast a new vocation spell that does damage, add one half your wizard level to the damage. Alright. Only applies once, not per missile array. Can't be split up. As a standard action, you need to force missiles. But necromancy. You can turn undead. You can grave touch. Alright. Plus one handsome bonus. Uh, to one physical score, like strength or dexterity. And then that goes up. That's pretty awesome. Talking to fist. Shape change. Level 8. Jeez. Um, huh. Let's have conjuration. I like to conjure stuff and see what the, the conjuration um, enemy list looks like. Uh, oh, I gotta pick a opposing school. Okay, so like, uh, let's see, opposing school. What does this mean exactly? Illusion spells. Well, this is what it is, but does it mean I can't cast spells from this school? Let's pick divination. Oh, here we go. Wizard who prepares spells from his opposite school must use two spells. Okay, so I can use them, but it takes two spell slots. So let's grab. Um, this and divination. We won't, we won't use any necromancy or divination, I guess. Okay, uh, so that's that's that. Now we got to get our attributes. I don't need a lot of strength as a wizard. In fact, I wonder if I can get points back. I can. I probably won't. I don't. I don't like. I know it's not a very min maxi thing to not lower stats, but I don't like having less than average in, in scores too much, um, especially when I. Like, you know, it's easy to go, I'm going to have a like, a like a 7 in strength. But then I'm going to find that I can't carry anything hardly. My backpack will fill uh, pretty quick, probably. I'm going to go with a little bit more dexterity. Constitution. Just for a little extra health and a little bit harder to hit. We'll go as high as we can with intelligence. Oh, we can max it out. That's good. Is that maxed out? Yeah. 
and a little bit of charisma for flavor. We'll go down. We will go down to eight in strength just to have some more uh, charisma, just for some fun. A little bit of flavor there and wisdom. Um, okay, nice. What's the race bonus? I have to click something for race bonus. Oh, um, right. Humans, I'm a human, and humans get a bonus point. I wonder how I do this. Uh, it didn't make me think I have to click something here. Maybe not. Okay, well, let's just spend our skill points. Um, I have three because my intelligence is... Oh, what if I would have had more? All right, that's fine. Uh, let's go with Knowledge Arcana and Persuasion. What's my ability to do? Talent for balance and coordination. You apply your mobility skill to check uh, checks for moving near opponents without provoking attacks, keeping your balance, escaping restraints, softening falls. Okay, well, that all seems like things I want. Oh, Perception. Let's do Perception. All right. Oh, I saw us do this. I don't know what I'm supposed to be. Oh, oh, I, I got to click here. All right. There's a little star here. It's telling me. Boom. Look at that. Oh man, that's uh, that's pretty awesome. And because of my extra point intelligence, I guess another skill point. Um, so I will uh, also have mobility. All right. Awesome. Okay. Uh, I'm a conjuration specialist. That's the wrong icon. I would think. Uh, let's see, choose ability. Oh, I got my feats here. Uh, let's see here. Elemental focus, fire, brute initiative, um, meta magic. I probably don't need any of the meta magic spells yet. If I remember right, meta magic allows you to um, re uh, prepare a low level spell at a higher level for a bonus, um, like maybe, maybe making a lot last longer or do more damage, things like that. Let's see here. Elemental focus. Some of these are new. Combat casting is probably going to be important to grab. Concentration check. Wait. Concentration check. Did I get any concentration? I don't remember seeing concentration. There isn't a concentration skill. Unless I'm missing something. Okay. Alright. I just want to try to miss a concentration check. Alright. Combat casting is important because at some point, especially in a real-time game, you're going to have your wizard have a guy in melee with you and you're going to want to cast at least some kind of defensive spell when that happens and having a plus four bonus your chance to avoid having your spell get um, interrupted uh, by getting by taking damage is very important also let's take dodge plus one uh, dodge bonus to my armor class armor class would make a uh, high armor class makes it harder to be struck so okay, it makes you lose your dexterity bonus to armor class makes you lose this just a straight up bonus dodge um, that's gonna be that's gonna be really good we're gonna get that now these are all the wizard, this is just filtering out anything that I can't take because wizard bonus feat, which is what this is, these two, I get one for being a level one character, humans get one um, additional feat, and then because I'm a wizard I get a pick from the wizard bonus feat list. And I think I'm going to have a spell focus and conjuration since I'm a conjurer. Anytime uh, my spell would require the opponent to make a, a saving throw check, it's one harder to save against because I picked spell focus, so... Perfect. Now, um, I'm picking my spells. Looks like I can pick six spells, so that's not bad. Okay, spell level one. What is this in here? Is this what I already have? I think this is my spell book. So let's see here. Let's see here, I have corrosive touch. I'm looking just at the uh, conjuration stuff first. Mage armor. Last print. An hour per level. That's pretty good. Okay, let's, let's grab that. We also want to get Magic Missile. That's just an important uh, staple. And uh, we want... There's a snow. That's a lot of level 1 spells. Here's, here's Summon Monster 1. Um, touch of Gracelessness, which would drain Dexterity of a target. Vanish. What did I pick for my... I know it was um, Necromancy and... Uh, uh, is Necromancy something else? Oh, um, I had it. I had it and I lost it. I'll see, oh no, I see it. The one I can't take. Uh, it's like your, uh, Divination. 
So I can't take true. Well, I can take it, but it take two slots. Uh, so let's not do that. How about protection from alignment? That's pretty awesome. Use protection from evil is a pretty good one to cast. Uh, corrosive touch will want to grab that. And large person is super fun too. I wonder how that works in this game. Makes the human grow uh, in size. Uh, in in the third edition that I'm familiar with, it gives you an extra height category. So like a medium creature, like a human, becomes large, like a ogre, and that makes their weapons do more damage. Uh, makes it easier for them to hit, um, but it makes them easier to be hit. Let's play with that. Let's just try that out. Now, I don't know what I do here. I don't know if I need to, like, um, drag and drop, click, because I, I kind of don't want necessarily these spells. These are, oh, wait, hold on, hold on. I think these are cantrips. Yes, these are all cantrips. Okay, I got it. You just start with cantrips. All right. Um, blind, let's play. That's what we'll call him. His speed is 30 feet. He's a medium-sized human with 8 hit points, and he's a wizard. And here's his alignment wheel. He begins at true neutral, or I can pick neutral good. I'll pick neutral good. All right, introduction. I'm going to let you read this for a second while I read it. Oh, Lindsay. Some of these characters are, like, from the... Pathfinder world, and they're playable as uh, characters in the Pathfinder card game, which is where I know most of them from. Alright. Ignominious. Ignomin. Ignominio. Ignominio. I've seen this word a billion times. I've never said it out loud before. Ignominious. Ignominious. Ah, that sounds right. Alright, here we go. We're playing. It's been 15 minutes, but I apologize for how long it took to get into the game. All right, I wonder if I should, is there like a quick save? Okay, F5 is quick save. Um, C brings up a character skill sheet, and here's my spells. Favorite school, right click for more information. Uh, let's, let's do this. What if I click on my guy and go to spell book? Flare, Disruption Deadlight. These are the spells. Now, how do I, like, um, prepare my spells? Oh, fair enough. Okay, let's go to the spells thing here. That's my level. Okay, so here's this. Oh, okay. I guess it gave me one of each. Is that how that works? It could be how it works. How do I get to them from here? May I have to rest? Can we camp? Not yet. Okay. Uh, who, who, let's see, look, let's look at other characters here real quick. I got Amiri level one barbarian. Um, I have a level one fighter and a cleric. So I worked out pretty good. If I have, I got my rogue. I wonder if, I wonder if these characters change. This worked out so well. I almost wonder if this if this change is based on. Um, um, how, uh, let's see if that does that. All right, perfect. Um, well, your character class. Like, if I had made a, a fighter, would I have two fighters, or would he be replaced by a wizard? <laughs> okay, let's see here. Holding on tab shows some things off. Let's just walk and find out what's going to happen. Whoa. Save ourselves. I will save ourselves. It's time to go. Oh. A bandit. Bandits are never good guys. Olog. Cressel. Okay. Oh. In neutral good. I'm not interested in bloodshed, but I won't let you rob this man. I made a neutral good action. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. So we've got three guys targeting Valerie. And what does she got? Abilities. She can charge one enemy creature with the double move range. Special action, plus two to the attack, roll minus two armor class. All right, let's pick this guy. And then let's have you 
she's raging. Rip them all! And then let's have you. I guess we should have him cast something like Jolt, Acid Splash, Ray of Frost. I wish I had some level two, level, my level one spells to cast, but that's all right. Actually, this looks like it'll be working out fine. I bet Acid Splash is a conjuration spell. And then we're going to have you attack this guy. Okay. Oh my god. Everybody's attacking this guy, right? Oh, Jesus. She has like a Mack truck. Cool. Oh, well, we got like a little combat log over here. Blind attacks so with light crossbow as a miss. Attack roll of 12. No modifiers. Okay. Can I expand this this direction? Doesn't look like it. We got experience. Attack roll. Ah, nope. D and D. All right. Here we go. We accomplished something. back, huh? Who are they and when will they arrive? I want to I see your goods. Tell me about yourself. I saw someone in the train post. You know who it was? Yeah, who was that guy? I was bucking. He sells potions. He lives out in the forest like a hermit, but he comes here every day. He knows every tree and bush in the area and and, uh, and how they can help you. Uh, the Stag Lord's gang wants him to work for them. He lacks courage to fight those bandits, but he won't just walk away from us. He has a good heart. Even if he grumbles a lot, especially recently. Okay, well, when are they coming? I can't imagine why with these guys would know when they're coming. We have a camp not far from here. About half a day, maybe less. Okay, awful good. You know that a fear will help you with the attack. Well, uh, for the stag crow. Oh, okay, so the bandits are making their own taxes, I guess. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, yeah. I mean, we'll save them. Where's your proper? All right. Alchemist fire, huh? Put that by the gate and light it off with a burning arrow. <laughs> That's true, I guess. Um. Okay. Let's see. We'll look around. I think the best way to make uh, tar and traps. Okay, so I got a little bit of time to prepare. Is the that, that was, okay? Oh, hey, it's Bakken. He's back. I'm um, a local herbal, so brings you here. We can use your help finding the bandits. Oh, I have a high note diplomacy. I can talk him into it. Okay, that's awesome. He did give me a potion of Caroline wounds, though. That's pretty awesome. Failed. Oh, I got okay. I needed a 16. I wonder if the log will show me what I rolled. Uh, okay, we'll talk later. Nope. It does. Oh, that's amazing. I rolled a 12, and if I had rolled a 14, I would have been good to go. And it's because of my... Oh, again, level. Oh, that's, that's awesome. That's cool. They gave you a level right away. Level 1 D&D &D is very rough, because, I mean, by hit level 2, you effectively double your hit points. That's level up on... We're going to keep everyone single class for now, and just go with fighter... Um... And we're gonna go with athletics, and we're gonna keep going with religion, I guess. Okay. Um, she gets a bonus combat feat. What does she already have? Can I tell? I should have probably looked. No, well, that's fine. She's got blind fighting. Maybe that's what that highlighted means. What else does she have? Crap. I wish I knew what weapon she had to give her a weapon focus with it. Well. She's going to be a longsword fighter. So I'll give it to her now. Now let's take a look and see if I made a mistake. She has a bastard sword. Nuts. That's my own fault. Okay. I don't think that shield's big enough. Um, let's see. Let's go here. She has a great sword. No, that's a bastard sword as well. Well, I guess we're going to get her a longsword just for variety. Uh, let's take a look at her character. Um, where do I 
go to, oh, here we go, abilities, feats. She has got, she already had a weapon proficiency bastard sword. Um, which I think is a feat she would have taken. Weapon focus gives you plus one. All right, uh, now we know. Let's give her a barbarian level. And point and lower. Perception and athletics. Ooh, rage powers. Animal fury. While raging, she gains a bite attack. That's just weird. While raging, plus one natural armor bonus. That's pretty good because while raging, I think she's easier to hit. Yeah, plus four strength and constitution and plus two on will saves, but minus two armor class. So this would help offset her armor class deficiency. Generate a stance. Um, gaining a hit point every four levels, every turn. That's pretty cool, but it requires level four, looks like. Renewed vigor. You can just, as an action, just heal. That's actually pretty amazing. But I like the idea of not getting hit at all, so let's, let's do that. Cleric. Cleric. We're going to give him some knowledge religion. See, now she has 29 and 28 and 24. We're going to level my guy up again here. He'll get a few more hit points, but not a lot, because wizards don't get a lot of hit points per level. That is the thing. All right, I can pick two more spells. Let's pick... Air piercing screen color spray. I'm kind of glad I got some of the illusion spells. Some of these are pretty good. Let's get let's get shield. And what snowball do? Staggers guys and doesn't die six damage. Uh, what's the stunning barrier? You are closely surrounded by a barely visible magical field, giving plus one. Deflection and plus one resistance on saves. Increase that strikes you as stunned for one round. Will negates. Will saving throw would negate that. Once the field is stunned an opponent, the spell is discharged. Only lasts for a couple levels. I like this spell on it, but I might wait until I get it until later in my career, I guess. Actually, might as well grab it now. And then just not prepare it. Alright. How do I prepare my spells? I currently only have access to my cantrips. And I feel like I should have more. Let's save the game and see if I can uh, rest. Actually, let's see if I can take a look at his goods and get a get a like a, a longsword. Here we go. A masterwork longsword. That would be quite nice for her. Just because Masterwork itself is plus one, and then it would give her another plus one from her feet. I don't know how much money I have. Oh, 411. Here, let's sell that. Deal. Okay. If I did that correctly, she's got a Masterwork Longsword, and her damage will go up, and her attack bonus will go up to four. So that's pretty good. Okay. Very good. So there's that. That part's done. Um, I need I to figure out my spells. AI yeah, is on. I mean, I got some spells, but if there's a big fight coming, I want all my spells. Let's see here. Let's just walk around. Probably don't have time. Is the space, yeah, the pause. I like the way the game feels when you're playing it. There's a, a weight to the characters that feels really good. I know the way. And uh, visuals are pretty nice too. Spill tar near the training post entrance to help slow down the bandits. Yeah, okay. That's a good idea. What's this do? We got a heavy mace, Jasper, and some coins. Okay. Potatoes. Can they be of assistance? Use our potatoes against the bandits. I didn't really loot these guys. I wonder if they had anything on them. Uh, leather armor. Short sword. I could probably sell this stuff, I guess. 
Okay, let's just grab it and sell it. Potion of Kelly Wounds, Jasper, Potatoes, Camping Supplies, and Rations. Alright. Deal. Now, who needs that potion and how do potions work? Potion Shield of Faith, Scroll of Inflict Light Wounds, Scroll of Magic. Oh, he's got a few scrolls. That's good. Let's give the Potion of Healing to the guy who can't heal himself. The Cleric. Oh, cool. Put him on his belt. That's neat. Um. I guess we're ready. Okay. All right, here we go. Trolls can heal with fire or acid. Oh. Oh, look at that. He threw some alchemist fire over there. All right, perfect. All right, let's um, let's drag that over there because we're gonna probably be charging a lot with her. Same with you. Put rage over here. They go down. Um, we're gonna cast days on this guy. We're going to cast, oh, what do we got here? Bless is really good. Plus one to hit for everybody. Well, let's get closer. Over there. Oh, no, don't be, don't be looting people. Okay, let's uh, target this guy here. You get him, you get him. Blind went down. That's not great. Uh, can I heal him? Oh, here we go. I can heal guys. Or I can do damage to the undead. I'll survive. There we go. I, I got him back up. Survive. And we're going to do Ashes Splash on this guy. I'll survive. I always survive. Oh god, we better heal someone again. Get this guy. I've overestimated my power. Dang it. Uh. Oh, this went sideways fast. Alright, let's try this again. Heal. Uh try and hit this guy. There we go. I'll hit this guy. Okay. Alright, I haven't yet to see this acid splash attack actually can go off. Quit, Quit shooting. Acid splash. Do it. And then you are down. Should have him drink a potion, I guess. Acid splash. There he goes. That's better. Okay. Help him finish this guy off. Okay, I think I got back up again. Oh, okay, perfect. We attack him. We're gonna have you refrost the this guy here. We can miss. Okay, well if she goes down, we're probably screwed. Let's try and daze this guy. Oh god. Okay. Well, see, this is where having my level one spells would have been very handy. Let's try and jolt him while the other guy's dazed. Yeah. Jeez. All right. Well, it didn't help that there was like a thousand guys. I'd like to have been able to conjure enough monster to help fight. All right. Let's try this one more time. I may have to 
rope a fight or something like that. If I can't get my spells right away. I mean, that helps a lot that he pulls it off right away. We need to have these guys come down here. And let's daze one guy right away. Okay, now hit this guy. Hit this guy. Bless. Nice hit. Okay, now you've got the bless spell up. What other spells do you have? Nothing. Let's just focus on taking guys out. Trying to acid splash this wounded guy here. No, this is the wounded guy right here. Nicely done. Excellent. Critical hit. Nice. Both of you focus on this guy. No, actually this guy's almost dead. Let's have you... What's the range on this spell? If I want to jolt. These are all pretty... Uh, let's try a jolt spell, I guess. Is that range guy's really messing us up, too. There we go. That was a good hit. Are you in... Okay, she was actually attacked out of opportunity when she moved away. Get this guy. There we go. There we go. That's better. Alright, let's... uh. Oh, good job. Good job. Oh, man. Solid hit. Oh, there's another guy over here. Good gravy. Um, go get him. And there we go. Nice. Very nice. What do we got for treasure? Stud leather armor. Oh, cloak of resistance. That's cool. Let's put that on this guy. What's that do exactly? Pulls on all saving throws. Cool. Very cool. Let's sell some of this stuff off. I don't think any of my guys. What do my guys I even have for armor? I shouldn't have even looked. Hide versus studded leather. Banded mail. It's probably the, it's probably not bad. What's this? Chain mail. It's pretty cool looking actually. Um. All right. Well, there we go. Let's talk to the innkeeper. I'll bet I can rest now. Ugh. Jeez. Ooh, that's really nice looking. No talky talk. Oh, you know what? I walked right past the guy. He was the one out there helping us, and I need to talk to him. All right. <laughs> There's some rest. Yes, we do. And 100 gold coins. Nice. Very, very cool. All right. Job well done, guys. That makes sense. We'll talk tomorrow. Okay. Now, how do I rest? What's this thing? Locked. I don't have a rogue to pick this stuff. I guess we'll just sleep. Hmm. All right. I, I don't want to read too much because when the game comes up for real, that's when I'll actually like read and try and play this stuff a little better. Um, okay, so do I have uh, level 2 spells now because I rested? No, I don't. Uh, I don't understand how to get my spells. Um, spell book. Level 1 spells right there. Uh... Uh, oh, wait, hold on a second. Oh, God. Okay, now I figured it out. 
anyone who was screaming at the screen for a while there, I apologize. We have magic missile, a couple magic missiles, a large person. Okay. I wonder if I can rest again. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. Okay. Look at that. Let's put a large person here. Magic missile will go here. Summoning monster here. Defensive spells over here. Offensive stuff here. And a touch of fatigue, I guess. Okay. Alright. And let's see what Major looks like to cast. Let's save the game first. Look at that. Now my armor class is... Where's my stats? There we go. 17. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's plus, um, I don't see any way to get the breakdown of that as accurate because it'd be two from dexterity, one from my dodge feet, and then four more from the mage armor. So my, my armor class is 17, which is... Heck, that's better than the barbarian. It's as good as the cleric. <laughs> that's awesome. And that lasts for a couple hours, too. I'm heading downstairs here. Where my where my people's at. Well, anyway, I don't want to play this all night. Uh, I just wanted to get, get a quick look at it and show it off. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this quick look at uh, Pathfinder. Seems like they're on the right track. I like a lot of what they're doing here. Um, the combat feels good. It feels very D&D. Uh, I kind of wish I could make this um, kind of log like bigger, but it's big enough, I guess, so it's fine. Um, all right, well, uh, thanks for watching, and if you guys want to see more Pathfinder, let me know. Uh, otherwise, give me a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you next time. And I'm back already, because seconds after I stopped recording the video, I gathered my party and discovered that the world map is a uh, kind of a cool... Choose your own adventure type thing. Um, so I just left the trading post. And because I don't really read the dialogue, I, I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to go. But I think I'm supposed to go to the Thorn Ford. Which if I click on, I'll just go right there. But I can kind of go anywhere I want. So let's go like this way. And then there's a random encounter. That, um, oh, I guess this time I didn't make any skill checks to avoid him. So I'm going to fight a random encounter. So I thought that map thing was kind of neat. Um... And has a lot of potential for some really neat thing. Oh, this isn't even a fight. A jittery old man. Tugged his beard. Strange weather, invisible fog, creeping woods. Strange. I don't like this old man. Looks like the kind who can cast the evil eye. Who are you? Remus. That won't help the fog. I do nothing. Breathe. Observe. No one else can. Invisible fog. Oh, weird. Uh, I should probably go. You hasten? You should. Your rival wastes no time. Okay. Uh, farewell. Alright. New location revealed the ancient tomb. Okay. So is there a new place on the map? I bet that must be what it is. And there's a local map. Okay. All right. Ha! Encounter. Oh, ancient tomb. So let's go there. Oh no, it's not. The path is unknown. Well, imagine the path is this direction. I like the fog of war. Oh. Uh. Yeah, let's fight. We'll fight the encounter. I got. I got my spells. I can summon. I can conjure enemies or full allies. I mean. Oh, banditos. Oh man, I don't, I don't want to be the, in the lead again. It's time to go. These fools just don't know whom they are dealing with. Alright, let's conjure a guy. I summoned the invisible dog thing. And then everybody <laughs> died. Alright, well, that's fair enough. Scale mill's not super good. There's a long sword. Composite shortbow. We should have a, a guy with a ranger. Looks like I have two more uh, party member slots, so at some point I wouldn't mind having like a rogue and a, a ranger or something like that. Some range guy. 
All right, easy XP. Except for I use my only, only conjuration spell, but that's all right, I guess. Oh shoot, we have failed to sneak past the enemies, so now we have to fight these guys. <clears throat> Just don't know whom they are dealing with. Skeletal champions. Um, then you have some anti undead stuff. Touch of chaos. Damage undead. Heal the living and charge. Which probably put these back on the toolbar. Okay. And then you are gonna magic missile. So let's see what those look like. All right, pretty good. Ooh, see, everyone's just kind of acting in their own turn. Actually, I thought I read that there was an option to have a countdown timer. Um, maybe not. Uh, like a countdown timer for when you're gonna actually uh, react in a in a given round, but maybe not. Ooh, eight points of damage is not great. Actually, let's heal the living. Oh, got hit again. I suppose you don't need potions. Nope, nothing on your belt. Oh, for God's sakes! You know what? Let's move over. Oh, I wonder if I can move without getting an attack of opportunity if I. Yeah, if you don't move too far away. Okay, that is it. 11 plus 4. Alright. Jeez, it's really hard to hit. He has a lot of armor, I guess. Here, don't shoot at him. Let's do another missile. Because it won't miss. There we go. Alright. Let's loot this guy. He had a breastplate, which explains, and, and a heavy shield, masterwork longsword, pretty good armor. So she's wounded, and I'm gonna have to camp, I guess. Where's the camping menu? There we go. Oh, all right. We're gonna camp here, I guess. Oh, okay. I remember reading about this. This is pretty awesome. Here's the camping interface: hunting, camp camouflage, cooking. So let's just let's manage this here and see what we can do. Uh, do we have we have hearty meals? Things for knowledge world. She has six points in lore. We need so we need four rations for the four of us. We have eight. I don't seem to have. Character attempts to hunt the surrounding area. Main hunter. Oh, I see. Everybody's doing something. She's the watch. She's watching on guard. He's camouflaging the camp. But his stealth is terrible. Maybe I should just have him on watch. Okay. Alright. Oh, this is kind of wild. I think this is actually kind of neat. We got two more rations. So we only use two. People healed. Uh, oh, spoiled the heart hearty meal though. But we got our spells back and everything. So, awesome. Anyway, there you go. That's a little more, that's a deeper additional addendum. Uh, there's a lot of things happening here that I, I don't know much about. I, part of me wonders if I shouldn't have made this video after I played for a little while. But, I think this worked out fine. So, um, thanks for watching. And, uh, I guess at this, well, I guess maybe I can see if I can get to this tomb. Because it would be kind of cool to see the tomb, right? There we go. I'm here. Enter. I guess, okay, we're here. I'll play for just another couple of seconds to show off the, the tomb. Here's the tomb. Well, there's a bunch of awesome stuff right away. Some scrolls, some rings. I hate collect all who gets that stuff. Oh, there's a shared stash. I got it. Let's give this protective protection from chaos. Summon monster one. Boy, you really need to have a potion of healing in your belt because you have, like, no help. Actually, she needs a potion of healing. I should have bought two of those. 
Uh, let's see. And then pull. Can you use? Probably not. I'll give it to you. All right. There we go. I'll explore this cave, I guess. Um, all right. Uh, once again, thanks for watching.